Hi, my name is Rhonda Wepler. I'm an artist in residence at the Museum of Arts and Design here in New York City. And I'm at my dining table, where I have been for the last two weeks making some art projects. I often use inexpensive materials you can easily find to make sculpture like these cast of cars made of aluminum foil. This series will show you how to make gifts from materials found mostly in your kitchen and around your home that can fit into a standard size envelope to mail to friends and family. Oh, what's that crawling on my wall? It's a surprise ladybug. Today's project is inspired by the 17th century Dutch still life painting that features a ladybug and this drinking vessel by New York-based designer Ted Muling. Pause the video here to see what materials you will need. First select a popcorn kernel that is most shaped like a ladybug. Use sandpaper or a nail file to flatten the belly of the bug a bit. Also round the kernel stem a bit to form a head. Use a piece of sticky tape to keep your bug from moving around. Fill the flat belly using a black permanent marker. Allow to dry. Paint the back with red nail polish or acrylic paint. Acrylic paint works fine, but nail polish is nice and hard and shiny. Ladybugs actually come in a wide variety of colors and dot patterns. Use the internet for inspiration. You can use your own custom colored nail polish by using a light colored base, color as a base like this pale pink polish. Draw a circle on a piece of aluminum foil with a permanent marker. Add a few drops of nail polish and mix it with a toothpick. Once the shell, shell has completely dried, use a black permanent marker to fill in the head. You can use a black fine permanent marker to make the dots, or use a pinhead dipped in nail polish as a stamp. You can stick here, bug to the wall with a ball of chewing gum or make a base. To make a base, mark a pin a half inch from the head with a permanent marker. Bend the pin at the mark back and forth until it breaks. S straighten the end of the pin to allow it to slide easily into the wall by f filing it a bit. Cut a small oval paper and using an eraser as a cushion, pierce the paper. Push the paper to the head of a pin. Using white glue, adhere the paper to the bug and allow to dry. Now using a black permanent marker, fill in the base. Use a top coat nail polish to seal the bug. First. Push the bug pin into an eraser to hold the bug steady. The to top coat can dissolve the permanent marker, so only put one th thin coat on the back, brushing back to front so that the head doesn't smudge into the body by mistake. Brush a thicker coat on the pin attachment to strengthen the connection. To install a ladybug, first hammer a pin into the wall a few times and wiggle it out to widen, then carefully slide the ladybug pin in. This sweater pin was made using an old earring post and backing. To mail a pin, pin bug through the fold of a leaf cut from construction paper, then cover the sharp end with a piece of eraser or tape. This bug is going to my friends Koch and Brekja in Koningen, the Netherlands, to celebrate the birth of their son, Uk. All right, well, thanks for watching, and next time we'll be making teeny tiny cabins.